How wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to discuss a discovery of a very strange galaxy whose existence is currently very difficult to explain, and specifically because this is a super rare type of a galaxy that contains extremely long radio jets, but is not your typical elliptical galaxy like the ones that usually produce this. This seems to be a giant spiral galaxy, extremely similar to the Milky Way, but much larger in size. And so let's discuss this discovery and what this means, starting with the idea of these radio galaxies and what type of galaxies usually produce these enormous radio jets. Now in some of the previous videos, we've discussed some of the record holders, specifically radio galaxies that produce some of the longest jets in the universe. And though some of them are relatively short, some seem to have jets over 20 million light years in length, essentially making these some of the largest structures in the entire universe. And so by definition, a lot of these galaxies are essentially defined by these enormous radio jets. Or jets mostly visible in radio light that usually extend way past the actual galaxy. But they're also usually extremely bright and obviously contain a lot of energy. And because of the advances in radio telescopes, quite a lot of these new radio galaxies have been discovered in the last two decades. But Pretty much most of them seem to contain elliptical galaxies in the center. Here we're talking about galaxies whose shape resembles something like this. This is the famous Messier 87. And though certain spiral galaxies have been known to produce occasional radio jets, such as for example the so-called Seifer galaxies, like the one you see right here known as the Circinus galaxy, here the radio jets are usually extremely small and are only visible in the local universe. One of the most famous such jets is the one in the Centaurus A galaxy. This is basically one of the nearest such galaxies close to us. But up until recently, it was actually believed that it was really only elliptical galaxies that could produce jets 100 times larger than the host itself. As a matter of fact, previous studies have also established that things like, for example, quasars and blazers that are also known to produce these powerful jets are extremely likely elliptical galaxies as well. With the overall explanation for this being that they most likely contain much more massive black holes, like for example the one inside M87 is approximately 1500 times more massive than the one in the Milky Way, and they're also possibly just a little bit more effective at somehow feeding the black hole. Or basically, a really large amount of cold gas inside spiral galaxies possibly disrupts the formation of the jet and prevents radio jets from forming. Likewise, a lot of these elliptical galaxies are usually in the middle of extremely enriched environment, containing a lot of gas around themselves, which then allows the energy from the jet to form various radio sources. Although the exact reason for why it's usually elliptical and not spiral galaxies is still obviously not entirely clear. But in 1998, researchers discovered the first hint of a spiral with a large radio jet. In this case, the observations were not very clear at first, but by 2011, the existence of spiral galaxies with large radio jets was officially confirmed. With this one being the first object, J0313-192, but this here becoming the most famous, the galaxy known as Speca, 1.7 billion light years away from planet Earth. And when it was discovered, this was basically the spiral galaxy with the longest confirmed radio jet which basically formed a new type of an extremely rare galaxy out there. These are now known as the Spiral Dragon Galaxies. Or Spiral Double Radio Source Associated with Galactic Nucleus, sometimes also referred to as the Speca likes But they are so rare that there is basically only a handful discovered to date, with the majority actually discovered in just the last two years. And once again, this is mostly because of the advances in radio telescopes and a lot of new surveys that are focusing on scanning the entire night skies. And so now we had the official confirmation that spiral galaxies can also launch relatively giant radio jets and can also even be episodic in nature. Very similar to what we usually observe around a typical radio galaxy, such as those record holders I showed you previously. But that's despite the fact that they all contain an extremely stable and usually massive spiral, with the only main difference between this spiral and a galaxy like the Milky Way just being the color itself. These galaxies are usually just a little bit more red on the optical spectrum. And there is a really good explanation for this. Because they produce these enormous jets, which of course is the result of the superactive central black hole, we basically expect the environment around the black hole to eventually change a lot of molecular gas and to shut down star formation, leaving behind only ancient red stars. 
And so essentially here, because of the superactive central black hole, the extra energy emitted from the center eventually displaces and changes a lot of gas around the galaxy, making star formation extremely difficult. And while something extremely similar has now been discovered in this new galaxy that basically beats all records. This new galaxy known as J2345-0449 seems to possess giant radio jets and also seems to be a super spiral. Three times larger in size compared to the Milky Way, but also potentially containing way more mass which has now been explained as the excess dark matter. And this also basically implies that it potentially contains an extremely massive central black hole, possibly hundreds of times more massive than the one in the Milky Way. And even though our own galaxy, the Milky Way, also shows signs of previous activity, such as for example the famous Fermi bubbles discovered a while back, here this is only approximately 50,000 light years in length. In comparison, this jet is 5 million light years. So that's basically 100 times larger, and obviously containing way more energy. But once again right now, it's not clear exactly how this formed, or even what caused this. Because here this would require the black hole to feed for a very long time, and possibly consume a lot of gas coming from somewhere else. But because here the giant meter wave radio telescope and ALMA telescopes confirmed the lack of star formation and the size of the jet, it essentially implies some kind of an extremely violent past that potentially lasted for millions if not billions of years. And so here the central black hole very likely heated up the entire galaxy and a lot of gas inside of it, preventing it from collapsing into new stars and pushing it away from the galaxy. But in comparison, the central black hole in our own galaxy, Sagittarius A star, is currently believed to be incapable of doing any of this and is just not large enough to produce anything just as massive. Moreover, it's unable to completely shut down the activity in the galaxy, even if it suddenly becomes active. And so in that sense, having a smaller central black hole in a galaxy is actually beneficial to long-term star formation. But in this particular case, based on the shape of the stars near the galaxy, researchers believe that it's possible that the black hole in here and the stars around the galaxy potentially evolved separately. As in, the black hole seems to have evolved separately, as opposed to gaining mass from various galactic mergers, like we usually expect. Which right now is somewhat difficult to explain, but suggests that these unusual galaxies can maybe help us understand how galaxies evolved to begin with, and also potentially help us understand the mysteries behind dark matter. Because in this case, as I mentioned before, for some reason this galaxy seems to contain an excess dark matter and excess mass. But there's another small thing I wanted to mention in regards to the press release and some of the implications from the actual title. Here this was released by the Royal Astronomical Society and the title was somewhat misleading. Cosmic Anomaly hints at frightening future for Milky Way. I mean obviously it made me click on this to try to understand what's happening, but the main point the author is trying to make here is that because this is a spiral galaxy and because it has these enormous jets, one day this might happen to the Milky Way and it might doom us all, so you know, start packing. Except that that's kind of completely incorrect, for reasons I already mentioned, but just to highlight this again, the Milky Way galaxy is just unable to form anything like this because our black hole is not big enough, and even if it could form a jet, it's actually not even pointed at us and will never point toward planet Earth. Moreover, we actually don't even understand the effects from these jets on various planets. As a matter of fact, extremely recently, there was another study released by Kendall Sippy and the team you see right here that actually argues something entirely different. Based on simulations and somewhat accurate calculations, they actually suggest that a typical black hole jet might be beneficial to a typical Earth-like planet, in a sense that if the planet contains oxygen, it might actually dramatically increase the formation of ozone, preventing other radiation from reaching the surface and potentially creating more habitable conditions. Here the calculations assume a somewhat average active galactic nucleus releasing a lot of energy toward our own planet. Which means that, in theory, if this actually happens to the planet, it might even be somewhat beneficial, assuming there is oxygen produced by something. But despite the misleading headline, this is still a super exciting discovery. We've actually never seen anything like this before, and this is the first spiral galaxy, massive spiral galaxy, producing such an enormous jet that's actually much longer than some other radio jets from elliptical galaxies we've discovered previously. But because this is a new discovery, we don't really know much else. We have this really cool image from the Hubble, and so we definitely know this is a spiral, but until future studies, we're not going to know much more. 
Right now this is just a super cool discovery. And so on that note, check out some of the previous videos about those record holders in the description below. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.